Hello, people, our friends. So in this video, we are gonna learn, and uh, not for not from me, but from my good friend Bernard, Bernardo, and he's using the Inferno Lab account. And yeah, let's see his match. So his high skill match begins with the opponent winning the dice and opening two hand traps, three hand traps, sorry, and two really powerful engine guards. And um, we opening Imperm. So if we if we went first, we we could have maybe combo through, depending on how he decides to interact. But no, it was too difficult. Let's be real. Anyway, he decides to chaos space and not get rid of Gamma to play around Ash. But if we just Ash this, then his turn is pretty pretty much over. So he has to. And um, yeah, he gets going. When should we use impermanence against a dragon leaf? So it could be going second against the savage, the seal, or it could be, uh, I mean, not going second, I mean in the turn number two, or it could be in the turn one, or some people call this turn, turn zero, just imperm the, the case ruler, the pepega ruler, yeah. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I think it's fair because that could get that could get get him another another hand drop and follow up. So yeah, we are we are stopping one interruption one for one and also follow up and maybe even more extended. This is a good trade. So now he's on three interruptions. He shot gun Lancy. I think it's correct because you know brave engine is in the format. And now we have to break this with two, with four cards. I think we should utilize battle phase to counter seal. Now getting the Oliver here is a little bit weird. Not not gonna lie. Probably the reason it is to summon special summon this like a Susud or red layer, and then uh, we just this to this to crash. That way, uh, then we can just all gear or not. I don't like this line of play too much. I think we could just all gear and then get bound to all gear and then attempt to summon Oliver. Although, to be fair, uh, we, we could sabot negate this and then we don't have access to or not. Yeah, yeah, it's fair, it's fair. I mean, we could just Oliver cost all gear if this in hand, if we, if this get bounced. Then fossil this, yeah, there, yeah, there are a lot of things that we could do. It's not bad, not bad at all. Yeah, because this is literally like a pseudo red layer. I mean, we cannot summon it again, but it it trading with the interaction. That's the idea. Now, yeah, we got flint. I mean, this could have been maybe even Gilfrid, but anybody could make it. Especially if we know that black is in hand. Let me check this real quick. Do, do we know this? Oh yeah, they even ask. I know the last card. Yeah, black. So yeah, at that point, we know that Flint is gonna uh, do the job. And using Flint effect to summon Oliver is kind of useless because we already had this as a tuna extender so I think we are minus one minus one uh, but who cares we are gonna combo <laughs> that's the only thing that matters now we can unicorn bait this and uh, he let it go that's weird really weird maybe he wants the ability to summon it back And um, yeah, we keep going. At this point, with a student already used, yeah, no, no, it wasn't used. So, okay, we have two extenders, so we are gonna end on three interruptions. Uh, yeah, this line of play is really powerful. This line of play right here, when we don't mill a riser, and we sacrifice Dragosac. It's gonna end on Herald Charles 
and pure. If you want to learn how, just check this and go back. But this is like straightforward. Yeah, we need Gemba and Oliver to, to make this possible. And this doesn't require um, Renault specifically. So with this board, we can just hop both and be fine. Yeah. Do we want to negate Abso? Absolutely. Yes, because Tracer could um, trade with this and then Tracer can negate, I mean, can change his effect, so it's gonna be a problem. And they can, they could also use Chaos Ruler to try to out this, so it's fair, it makes sense to, to negate it. But also, this and there is an argument in which we just Flur negated. Why Flur and not Herald? Because Herald, I mean, if they want to kill this in battle, we could protect it with Charles Pop. And Fleur, if, if Fleur weighs the negate here, in a stomach phase, it can tag out and revive Gearfrit. So then we still have three interruptions. So yeah, yeah, I take back my word. This was incorrect, we should have used Fleur here. Uh, <coughs> and win, because... They cannot come back from this to interruption to cards. Oh yeah, we should have prevented this and equip a Phoenix Late to Fleur. That's also a big misplay. Again, it wasn't me, it was Bernardo. It's his fault. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, if, I mean, if he plays, it's like if we are playing. And let's be real. Um, anybody can make misplays. So, yeah, the important part is that we learn from them. So, they try to combo off, here they could revive Unicorn, which is huge, but we just pop it on, they, uh, they don't have anything. And Charles by itself is a lot of follow-up, it's to Rendal, which means Renaud, which means Idia, which means Gearfrid, yeah, you know, you know the drill. So, uh, this, was, this went fast, um, this went too, too fast, but you get the point, if they chaos space, um, and the only thing that we have here is an Ash, we could take the risk. Yeah, I mean, we learned in the game one that they had this and Gamma in the opening fight. Because I think they, they discard Gamma of Robin or something like that. So, what are the odds that they open this plus uh, a, a discard plus Gamma twice in a row, you know? That's unlikely. So, I think it's fair that we risk ashing this and he 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 had the dragons already so it was i mean it wasn't too impactful so he could kind of combo right now gain all the pluses here he milled the galactic spiral which i don't know i know this means the vampire dragon but I don't see that dragon being a good good idea against our deck. Because we mill four, what can we mill that is useful? Ogier Renault. I'm sorry, Ogier um, Oliver. So it's three equips. We could also mill equips so to make Gearfit light or to Renault to grab them back without uh, requiring souls. So it can be beneficial. Then it can also be really bad if we mill 001 uh, call win. So, yeah, I, I, I am not sure. I don't think it's the best play, but it's fair, it's fair. Here he decided to grab this because, yeah, it was not live. Um, maybe the free is not as good right now. So, what's gonna be his board? Okay, the vampire. Let's see what can he get. That was insane. He gets token collector. And he can get a tunnel if he wants. Or Gifrit. I think Gifrit is perfect. If he managed to make Savage, then he could use the negate. But he didn't set up for Savage. He set up for Fat Red. Which, yeah. Is it cannot utilize the negate. So he, we are only going up against two interruptions, even though the board looks really big. 
and we have five power cards and you know this is red layer which trades with seal Gearfish trades with this so we should be able to break this easily how do how should we sequence yeah red layer first now there is an argument if we want to trade battle phase just to get rid of this on one for zero or if we want to let them have full value and bouncing is all which means minus two cards but that could allow us to go for game to otk so because we know this in hand um, yeah this is the exact same i know the last guy in hand black yes i know the last guy in hand black yes <laughs> yeah yeah deja vu so um because we know we are only dealing with this last token collector we could try to otk but let's see uh, i think i personally i wouldn't do it but now we get renowned okay we are not trying to to trade uh, the battle phase we are trying to otk now they negate with hundred which i think is a misplay they should let this die um, because that means a minus one for for us now he, the fact he's using the seal is another misplay so yeah yeah we are bouncing with layer i mean it, may, it makes sense the argument that now renat cannot be someone but guess, guess what now we have father for oliver <laughs> and yeah and we also have set up for gear free so it's not the end of the world now all we gotta do is take care of token collector and we can do that in a lot of ways one is gear free the other one could be like omega in graveyard but let's see if we can make that happen yeah yeah we are going for omega in graveyard you know how because power tool get an extender and then power tool this into omega i think that's the best the correct play because he has four big monsters we have to use we have to put a big board and then give it like the cherry at the top so then he can out to most if we just go for the small board of gear fit and two and charles herald that's not enough to otk and he he could have a comeback because he is ruler we gotta outfield um this in hand yeah he could have a comeback this as well so the correct play here is burning this early that way we can use omega to deal with collector and also this is father for unicorn so now we are outing another card yeah yeah that's pretty huge now we use our last extender and i mean last tuner extender and go for the full board now you is dealing with this and this uh, so it's gonna make 500 damage or 800 if we have played and uh, yeah see this combo line as you can see we didn't go for power tool because we are lacking one power tool so it makes sense to to do this yeah now it's kind of counterintuitive to floor pop our monster but because we want to we want to pop their monsters but it's getting us full board so it's good it's beneficial now we gotta use this to make either bad move but it's already here or riser but it's already here so now we should even either call win effect to vanish or make another power tool. it depends in um, if we wanna risk getting a good equip or not so yeah we are not risking we are just vanishing this because this is enough gas i mean this is already already game so Gilfried is clearing these two monsters and then this is more than ak and that's gg so yeah after all it, it was a good idea to to go for let them trade with spears but mm, it was risky i think we got lucky that they used the interruptions a little bit unoptimal but it works so that's it
hope you learned something about how to break boards. I think we went second both games and, and won. And to be fair, Gilfried is really nice. He can carry games on its own. Uh, like the video if you liked this video. And see you in the next one.